so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the windshield wiper serve. Uh, it's a pretty unique one, and it's one of my favorites because people aren't used to seeing it, and because of that, it's, it's usually pretty effective. So with the windshield wiper serve, you're going to start on one side of the ball and just come across, uh, and almost like a windshield wiper. And as you do that, it will add a lot of side spin on it, and you can also add a lot of backspin or top spin. So I'm going to show you how to do the backspin serve today. Uh, to do that, generally, well, for most people, they're shake hands players, so you're going to hold it like this, and then for this serve, you're just going to rotate it a little bit in your hand, kind of like a C Miller style. What that does is it'll, it'll allow you to get your wrist uh, back, it'll allow you to lay your wrist back, and, and get underneath the ball. So usually, most serves are going to be coming in like this, or like this, coming hitting hitting underneath. It's the same with the windshield wiper serve where you're going to be hitting underneath, but to do that, if you're just kind of a shake hands grip, it's hard to lay it back, it's kind of awkward. So if you rotate it, it allows you to kind of, it allows you to, to lay it back better. So as you do this serve, you're going to be coming in underneath the ball. It's, very, it's really important to get underneath it. What that'll do is it'll help you to get the backspin and it'll also help you to keep it short. So if you're coming down this way, it, it the ball kind of pops and goes forward, or if you're kind of laying underneath it, it'll it'll stay short and just kind of float onto the table. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate the serve a few more times so you can kind of see how I do it. Just keep in mind I'm keeping the wrist back here. Watch this. So what that does the further back you go, the shorter it'll be, and also kind of the better backspin if you really have that wrist action in there. So. See. Ya. Very important. It's very important to have that that wrist turned, or sorry, the racket turned in the hand. That'll allow you to lay it back. That's one of the most important things. See how short that one is. Too long. Too long again. There's a little more this way instead of lay it back. That's why I went long on that. All right. I want to demonstrate a few more angles so you can see my leg movements and my grip and racket angle. Notice how much I come down on the ball and bend my knees while serving. It's very important. Every serve you do, it needs to have some action to it in order to maximize the spin. As I come down on the ball, it helps me to keep it short and add more spin to it. As you can see, I like to do this serve from like the backhand corner or else the middle of the table. I like, from the, from the backhand corner, you can angle it much better into the backhand. From the middle, you can kind of go both ways, but not as well. I'm generally aiming either cross court into the backhand or else short in the forehand. So if I'm in the backhand corner, I'm usually gonna go cross court in the backhand because I have that angle, where if I'm serving it from the middle, I can go either backhand or forehand. And the reason why I go into the backhand is because it makes it a little bit more predictable on, for the return. So if I go into the backhand with all that side spin and, and with it being cross court, usually people will go back into my backhand. Where if I go into the forehand, a lot of people just kind of struggle in the short forehand, so that's also a good option. Both are good options. Okay, so now that you've seen the serve in action, I want to just reinforce a couple things. The first is the grip, how important that is to, to rotate the racket in your hand. Uh, and the other is to keep it uh, laid back. So when you lay it back, it really helps to keep it short and it'll help with the backspin. If you don't have it laid back, um, it's, it's gonna be almost impossible to get good backspin and it's also gonna be very difficult to keep it short. So just make sure you have it, have the, the wrist laid back somehow, one way or another, just, that's, that's just that's number one key. Uh, so when do I pull this serve out and what kind of return should I expect from it? So I usually pull this out about halfway through the first game or in the beginning of the second or third or fourth games. I don't usually lead with this serve. Um, I wait until I've, I've done a few of my normal serves and then I'll pull this one out and it kind of resets um, and throws people off. And just, it's more of like a mid game serve for me. Um, you can pull it out whenever you want, but that's, that's when I like to do it. Uh, and then the return. So with this serve, since there's so much backspin on it and so much side spin, I can pretty much guarantee that my opponent's either going to drop shot or push it. Um, and with the side spin, it's it's going to want to pull into my backhand. So after the serve, I like to turn the corner. I'm looking to loop, unless it's short, obviously, and then I'll probably come in and re-push it or drop shot it. Um, but generally, after the serve, I'm 
I'm looking to loop out of the backhand corner because of all that side spin. All right, well that does it for today's video. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And I appreciate you watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.